People always ask me why I release most of my fish. That's just me. I just keep what I want to eat, and that's about it. They ask why I release a fish anyway. Well, there's probably the best reason I can give you, and this is a tiger muskie, which doesn't reproduce. This beautiful fish was caught in early July of 06, measuring 49 inches, weighing in at 34 pounds. Almost two years to the day later, late June of 2008, she was caught again. Two inches longer, almost five pounds heavier. You can clearly see the matching marks on this fish, which was released again for you and me to catch. Nothing beats hauling in a brute like this, and with a quality photo, you can get a graphite replica made that will outlast any skin mount. That's going to be the topic of our next few episodes as I travel up to Conover for a visit to Lax Reproductions. We'll see how these mounts are created and the craftsmanship that will showcase your trophy catch well into the future. So practice CPR, catch, photo, release on your next adventure on the water. The next person will be glad you did. I'm Mike Mahalik, the 60-second angler. Good luck on the water. Reputation is big in the fishing industry, and like most things in life, it has to be earned. Ron Lack started his taxidermy business years ago and has since retired, turning the airbrush over to his son Rick. A tradition of excellent shows, too. Recently, the Kentucky State record for Muskie was broken, and where did they send that fish? Conover, Wisconsin. Well, the Kentucky State record was just uh, broken. A uh, 14 year old girl caught it. Very nice. Uh, it was uh, the previous record was 44 pounds. Uh, she caught a 47 pounder, 53 inches long, 53 and a half inches long. Uh, all the way from Kentucky, they sent the fish up here so we can mold it so sports shops can have a replica of the state record of Kentucky. So it's quite an honor to get the actual fish sent all the way up here for us to mold. Very happy about that. <laughs> the quality shows and lasts a lifetime. I'm Mike Mahalik, the 60-second angler. Good luck on the water. You've heard the term, some assembly required. Well, the same thing happens when the reproduction of your trophy fish is done, too. It's sort of like a puzzle, made up of pieces to represent the monster that you caught. Rick Lax of Lax Reproductions up in Conover gives us an inside look at the beginning of that process. There's the before it goes on. We got to put a lot of work into it. We got the teeth. We, we uh, put the teeth in there, scalpel those in there. That's actually a jaw piece from an actual muskie I molded. Here's the top breakers, which is actually molded off of a real fish. Then we're all put in there in place. We got the we got the gill system in there. And that's uh, going on a body. Not the next batch. By the time it's finished, you'll have something to display and talk about to your buddies for decades to come. The one that didn't get away, but lives on for someone else to catch. I'm Mike Mahalik, the 60-second angler. Good luck on the line. How important is that picture of your trophy catch? Well, you want it to look like your fish, don't you? Have several good shots taken after she's measured and released, then give a guy like Rick Lax a call in Conover. His reproductions are known for excellence, as you can see. What we got here is an order. The guy sent me a, a letter with the pictures of the fish he wants, uh, length and the girth. Uh, we're gonna start, we matched it up with this mold right here. It's an S-curve, um, nice heavy fish. It's semi-barred, it's heavier barred through in the back end here. We'll, we'll duplicate that through here and then we're going to fade into nothing. It's a pretty basic paint job, but uh, one real nice fish here. We're going to get started out here. The wait time is up to eight months, so don't expect your mount much sooner than that. To get a better idea of what they do, visit one of the musky shows down in Milwaukee or Chicago coming up and see what's available. You'll be glad you did. I'm Mike Mahalik, a 60-second angler. Good luck on the water. So you caught your trophy fish, now what? Well first of all, treat her carefully and get some good measurements. Rick Lax of Lax Reproductions up in Conover isn't an artist, he's a craftsman and has some tips on what to do before you release that fish. Well the first thing to do is when you catch a muskie is uh, get the length, the girth, and a nice clear picture for the coloration. The, the fish product's only as good as the picture. Um, then you can call or you can look at our website at laxreproductions.com and you can choose from different styles, head to the right, head to the left, um, S-curve straight mount on driftwood or on a plaque, there's a lot of different options. Once you have that decided, 
feel free to call us and order one. And the best thing to carry in the boat is one of those measuring tapes they use for material. Your wife may have one you can steal. But here's the best tip I can give you. Make sure you pinch that tail. This is how a warden's going to check your fish, and it gives you a bigger fish anyways. You need a bump board or a BP measuring stick for the big girls. It's going to help. I'm Mike Mahana, like the 60-second angler. Good luck on the water.